Last but not least, we have uh, support. So for support, um, it's important to know that, like, in ranked, the support, the good supports, when you go higher elo, are much different than what low elo looks like, and it it's much different than what KPL looks like. So you you have to keep that in mind. Like, if you have the mentality of thinking that you know a tier uh support that i put very low tier is good you have to change your mentality and think about why you actually th like think that and change that because it's wrong <laughs> it's definitely wrong so you have to see why you're wrong and see like why the tier one supports are actually tier one so let's get on to it oh okay so why how how to rank supports um basically if you, the support has ability to fight level one two. If the support can team fight, if the support has a uh, engage, if he can create vision, which not every support can face check bushes at will, and uh, if there's any bonuses, of course. But yeah, those are basically the main key. Like, can he engage level one, and can he face check level one? Because if you can't, then you you lost the raid. You know. You you think you start the game at 50-50, but if you can't even get an advantage at level 1, you're behind at level 1, then the game is going to go downhill pretty fast, no? So in an ideal world, don't play those supports that can't do those things. So tier 1, clear tier 1 is this guy. Uh, I'm not going to put anyone else in tier 1, I think. This guy is so broken at the moment. They buffed his invisibility, so it's harder to see. He can scout with his alt, uh, it gives vision, and he can fight level 1 with his vacuum. He can't really face check bushes, but it doesn't matter because he, if he face checks the bush, the guy in the bush actually dies, low. And his S1 reduces armor and MR, and he creates wombo combos, so he even changes the playstyle of some junglers because of him. So yeah, like, just there's no mis there's no flaws with this hero. The only flaw is the player. If you're too like, if you don't understand how to engage, if you don't understand which bushes to face check, which bushes to engage in, then he's shit. But if you play him perfectly, you can also flash with his vacuum. There's no counter play, and and he counters this guy because this guy is very bipolar, right? and blocks projectiles, but this guy, he counters this guy, because this guy is like, too, he sticks to people, right? So he's an AOE wombo combo, so he just wombo combos the duel. And this guy, he just uh, vacuums him when he holds his shield up, counters him as well. The only soft counter to him is fish, but that's good. If you vacuum someone, and the fish has to use his ult to save that guy, then it's worth, this is like worth. You're trading an alt for something that's on an 8 second cooldown. So it's not a counter, this guy. And level 1 to 3, this guy will just walk over this guy, you know. This guy doesn't have his support. Yeah, he doesn't have his alt, so it's free. So yeah. Put it in your mind. Change your mentality. And understand that this is the absolute most broken hero in the game. Tier 1 by far. Okay. So now we go to tier 1.5 because I feel like they're not really tier 2. They're not really worse than this hero, but they just have to be played in different ways or in different elo. This hero, you probably know, she can teleport people back, right? So she can make a lot of plays. They can, she can dive tower and she can play the macro game. So if you go higher elo and you know how to play this hero, it's just uh, too good in the right hands. And... Um, this guy's about team fighting, right? But if you can out macro this guy with this hero and just push down every tower without caring about him coming, and when he does his wombo combo, you just put everyone back to base, full health, and teleport back in, then then she beats him, right? So this is a 1.5, but it takes tremendous skill to play this hero, and it's preferred that you're in high elo, like 1800, or your sub or your jungler is a dual queue with you. So, yeah. And then, this is also a 1.5. It's just that you have to pick him in the right comps, as explained before. You can't pick him versus, like, 
versus like uh, the this girl. You can't like pick him versus like this guy. So there, there's a lot of heroes that counter him. But if there's not, and you're last pick, and you shit on them with this guy, man. And then, yeah, that's it for 1.5 tier two. Well, I I would put this guy in 1.5 as well. So he has his own AOE wombo combo, and he buffs allies. He can face check the bush at level one. So he's he's like slightly worse than him, but he has strengths in different areas, like his alt, you know. And he buffs allies, the armor and MR. So 1.5. And he's very easy to play, like, it's, it, you don't need any games on him to play him, you know? So, 1.5, that's it. Tier 2, let me see if I missed something. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is a tier 1.5 support as well, because, as, like I said before, if there's an ADC, he shits on ADC. And if you play him support, then you can do tons of random shit-disturbing things, you can annoy the jungler, you can camp the ADC. And because he's not jungling like this guy, so you're free to like do those annoying things because you don't have responsibilities elsewhere on the map. If you're a support, you're allowed to roam and be missing. So you can literally camp the ADC lane and the ADC literally cannot walk out tower and it's fine because it won't ruin your like game. You know, you win a lane automatically because you play this guy's support. And you can steal jungle camps, you can kill the enemy jungler. For example, if this guy is the enemy jungler, then this guy is just a, a terror for him, you know. So yeah, 1.5 for sure. And um, this is also a 1.5, simply because he can t uh, start fights by himself. You know, his level 1 is very strong, as you might have seen. You can invade the enemy jungle. It's just... Uh, it's, he's just... You know, his ult is just like, he might not be that good overall, but it's just the way he plays and it's very suitable for ranked, you know, level four, he can dive tower, he can kamikaze, it's just solid. So yeah, also kind of easy to play. So if you had a choice between like all the supports, I would play like this guy and like this guy. Yeah, 1.5. And then tier two. Um, checking out the supports. There's a lot of supports that are actually not labeled as supports, which is funny. Okay, so tier two we have um, kind of controversial, but actually very good now is this hero. So he can give allies XP, right? And on a support position, he doesn't have as much pressure to do damage because his damage is kind of hard to execute. But he'll buff everyone's uh, XP, and his uh, damage is quite good, and his CC is actually quite good, level 1 and 2. It's just, level 1, you can't get the mid-bush, like, you can't face-check anything. But his, uh, his, I don't know which skill that is, but the one that knocks people away, that can face-check bushes. And you don't really care because you'll reach level 4 first, so it doesn't matter if the enemy has a slight advantage. Like, he's very solid. It's the only thing is he's sort of hard to play, right? And then other tier 2s... Mm, I don't know about this hero yet. I think she's tier 2 if she's mastered well, but it's hard to see. Like, the issue with this hero is... When she outs someone, right, she has to be nearby enemies to do damage. But if you're nearby enemies, then they have a chance to do deal with your shield. So then they can kill your shield and you lose your ult. So it, it's it's a paradox, right? But in my I hypothesize if you have something like a like a semi long range hero like this guy in light form. Then this hero with paired with this guy is absolute bonkers, man. I I don't know a hundred percent, but when he's charging, it takes less damage. I'm sure it applies to her shield as well. So it's absolute bonkers. I've played a few games with her, and she just sits inside me. I just walk up to the enemy. They can't do anything, you know. I just ult them, and they're dead. And she slows them for me, so they get hit by my ult for sure. I did like forty six percent damage one time with her. 
So I think this is a pretty good combo. But other than that, I haven't really figured out how she can be paired. Oh, yeah, she's pretty good with this guy because he gets his own shield, right? So he goes into alt. She alts. <laughs> it's, it's cancer. He can't break that shield, trust me. It was literally half his health bar. So, yeah. Other than that. Yeah. Also, a tier 2 jungle uh, support is this guy. But you have to play in proxy. Like, you have to go into the enemy jungle. You have to annoy everyone. And you have to die a lot of times. And when you die, you can make vision for your allies. But this is not recommended because it makes your allies very pissed. But he's, he's clearly very good as a support. So, when you shit disturb the jungler enough... You might steal some of his camps, and eventually you'll become, like, very rich. So you get six items, and you become another carry, and you just shit on the enemy. Yeah. Other tier twos. I want to put this guy in tier two, but I'm not sure. I mean, he's very good level one. He has his bomb, he has his revive, but he just seems to be missing something, you know? And they nerfed his passive gold gain again. So, I would say tier 2, but he's so hard to play that it's hard to say. Like, like in a, in a, in a 6 ban meta, you would ban this guy, right? And then ban this guy. And then one support will play this guy, the other team will play this guy. Or you play him, or maybe her, or him. And that's it. Like, there's no room for him, right? And then maybe the, one of the brain dead supports plays a tier 3 hero, but that's, that's fine. So, yeah, it's, it's hard to see a place for him, you know? Anyway. Let's see if there's any other Tier 2s I've missed. I think this guy is also a solid Tier 2. In, not in super high elo, but anything below 1800, he's solid. He has his... Uh, he can face check at level 1. He has CC level 1. He's very tanky. And this guy also is Tier one, uh, Tier 2. A support because he's actually he does a lot of damage level one and two and he has a lot of cc so very surprising that he works out very well but i think yeah it's 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 weird but yeah, it works trust me okay so i think that's it for tier two yeah tier three i would smush the tier three i would put this hero there and the reason for that is because um, she's kind of good in some comps, but the issue is her early game is so weak. But if you can get past that, then her buff is incredible. Her CDR reduction, she's just like, it's her, her team fight is just too good, you know. So she takes too late. You need her mid late game to really see her strength. But early game, oh my god, don't please don't play this hero. And then this guy has no ability to get any vision, has no CC, so he's tier 3 or worse. Just don't play this guy as well, it's cringe. Same with her. Him, he takes too long to ramp up, but in high elo, you can pair him with Tiger. It's just, you need your team to carry you through the early game. So this is not very suitable for ranked when you have to carry your teammates. So tier 3, tier 3, but this guy is kind of good. Uh, also a tier 3, maybe 2-ish. I'm not explaining the tier 3s because you, you guys know why they're tier 3. They can't make their own vision. This, I don't know why she's here. Yeah, I'm not explaining that because you guys know why. Any other tier 3s? This guy is said to be a support, but I really don't see it. So maybe tier 3. Also 3. Well, I would put him in two, 3, 3, yeah. His CC is not enough. 3 as well, but 2 actually because he's very tanky. Tier 3. Tier 3, he's just too squishy nowadays. Tier 3. Tier 3. Tier 4. This is a troll pick, but uh, it's okay. Any other supports? No, right? <laughs> this guy, no. Tier 3. He has a hook. It's not bad. Yeah, I think that's it for support. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter what support you... Oh, yeah. Tier 4, Tier 3 support. Same. This is a decent Tier 3 support. Same. This is a Tier 3 support as well. Yeah. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys next time.